Hello, this is Yulin. My present topic is analytic combined IMU integration, ACI Square, for visual inertial navigation. I'm from Robot Perception and Navigation Group, University of Delaware. Camera can provide rich information of the environment, but it can provide only skillless poses. IMU can recover the motion skill with relatively high frequency, but it drifts fast. By combining camera and IMU, visual inertial navigation system enables accurate 60 pose estimation. In order to fix camera and IMU, we need the interval based IMU integration because the IMU is much faster than camera. Between camera time steps, there are always quite a few IMU readings. Besides that, we also need to align the camera and IMU timeline carefully. For example, when the camera measurements happen here, the corresponding IMU reading is here. The difference, we call it time offset. We also need to calibrate time offset in order to fix camera IMU accurately. For this paper, we have three contributions. Firstly, we propose a modularized analytic combined IMU integrator. Secondly, we provide a simple sample synchronization within graph-based events for camera IMU sensors. Thirdly, by generalizing the other algorithms, we provide a partial fixed estimate estimator, which can fix the linearization or partial states to balance the efficiency and accuracy. Before we go to the paper, we first give a brief introduction of graph-based events. When the wind system is exploring the environment, it will generate the IMU motion constraints between the frame IK to IJ. Also, at the frame IJ, it will observe the landmarks XP with image pixel U and V. This will generate the visual constraints. All these constraints can be represented in the graph. The red dots represent IMU states connected by IMU motion constraints, VI. The triangular represents the landmarks. The landmarks can be connected to the IMU states by these visual constraints, they say. All these graphs can be transformed to a least square form with the cost term of the IMU and the cost term of the camera. How to solve this one? Assume that we have a general observation model with two variables, xa, xb. After formulating it as as after formulating it in a least square form, most cases the conventional solution is to use Gauss Newton by iteratively linearize and solve it. In each linearization, we will recompute the ha and hb. However, if we fix the being running point for certain states like XP, then we can save some computation with computer Jacobians. But uh, in order to compensate for the linear variable change of XP, we need to add this correction term, delta XP. Um, overall speaking, the partial fixed estimate estimator can balance between efficiency and accuracy. Our proposed analytic combined IMU integrator is two integrated IMU measurements between time step k and time step j in the interval of delta t. Uh, there are also other integrators like the discrete integrator posters and uh, Eichenhoff's continuous pre-integration CPI. The Frosters 
won't compute the correlation between navigation coherence and bias coherence. The CPI is solving a linear rise ODE analytically, but it computes, computes pre-integration Jacobian's navigations step by step, which will cause some recomputations. However, in our proposed integrator, we first identify four computation components, which can be used in integration Jacobian and navigation states. A lot of recomputation will be saved. To explain our integrator, we take one time step from i to i plus 1 between k and j, for example. We want to compute the integrated state v i plus 1, including returning, position, velocity, gyro bias, and acceleration bias. We abstract this integration as h hint. In order to capture the coherence of the measurements, we also need to do the linearization and propagate the coherence of the noise. Hence, the full integration should include the integrated measurements vi plus 1, also the stabilization and the noise Jacobian gi. How to compute them? We identify four analytic integration components. We have provided analytic derivations for them in our tech report. After evaluating them, you can easily plug them in the measurement, the transition, and the noise Jacobians. All the computation will be really simplified. We want to know that during the integration, in order to get the angular velocity and linear acceleration, we need to fix the bias states. As we have talked in the puzzle fixed estimate estimator, if we fix states in the least squares, we need to add correct terms to balance the following linear point change, like the delta xp in this annual cost. We evaluate our proposed ACI square in simulations. We compare with the Foster's CPI and ACI square with different IMU frequencies. We want to mention that we implement two models. Model 1 represents piecewise constant acceleration measurements. Model 2 represents piecewise constant true acceleration. From the table, we can see that although all those integrators perform similar, but ACI square 2, model 2, from the best. Besides the IMU constraints, we also need to model the variance cost from the van system. The van cost is just a pixel measurements of the landmark. When we represent the rigid transformation of the landmark in global to, to local, we also include the TD as a variable. If we develop this one into the uh, winds of formation, when the TD change, the time interval of the camera will also change. That means we need to reintegrate IMU that will cause a lot of computation. In order to avoid the reintegration of IMU, we can fix the initial linear point of the TD and add this correct term to our cost according to the puzzle fixed estimator. In this case, the computation will be much simplified. In order to verify the problem of the system, we implement the events with ACI square in GTSM with fix like smoother. We leverage the open means simulator to test the, the system on Go Hall and Tum dataset in team Monte Carlo simulations. You can see that the trajectory is very close to ground truth and the time offset inverts fast. We also provide a proof of concept experiments with the real world data. In conclusion, we pro proposed analytic combined IMU integrator and a graph-based lens with time offset calibration. In the future, we will try to include IMU intrinsic calibration into ACI square and build incremental lens with ACI square. Thanks.